Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and uh, we are, of course, testing 22.579 is the latest Insider build for those that are on Dev Channel Insiders. Uh, one of the few things that we can look at, uh, first of all, the stability is good, so there's no problem there. Uh, everything's working great. Remember that if you are on Dev Channel, why don't you go to the Feedback Hub and go into the Quests on the left side and go through the different quests that you have here. Uh, this will help you, first of all, learn more about Windows 11 and help the team, the Microsoft team, in making things better. You can do all sorts of quests as we are in the what called the bug bash. So this is something that you should definitely try. Um, other things, there's um, in this build, you can now exclude USB removable drives from encryption if you're using BitLocker, so you can add all of these policies now that weren't before possible. Um, they've updated the print experience, the print queue experience. So when you, you know, go on an app and you use the, uh, the uh, you want to print, what happens is the print button was not always consistent. It was not always giving you the same experience depending on what app you're using to print. So now they've kind of made this uh, available, even older apps that use old style print experiences are all merged into that new dialogue of Windows 11. There's um, also a um, experience if you want to access the console in Windows Terminal, you can easily do so and change the uh, terminal um, or the default for PowerShell or Terminal or depending what you want to do in the developer's side in the privacy and security. Um, we, of course, they introduced folders in Windows 11 uh, in the last few builds, but the problem was we couldn't name them. Now we can. So when we go to a folder, look at that. I can actually type Microsoft Office and press enter and here we go now in my start menu i know that the folder here is microsoft office or because it's like a little small i can just put office and i know what it is anyways so here we go office or microsoft office and i know that that folder is office and so on just but small names are names for each of the folders that you actually have uh, what else do we have? We also have uh, in the um, uh, Get Started apps uh, where you can actually pin in the taskbar uh, all sorts of uh, links to web pages and stuff like that, which is also something new. Uh, there's new animations if you use uh, multiple windows at the same time you and use three fingers. Uh, gesture on the trackpad to change or move around stuff. You'll see new animations of the windows. And the task manager, one of the requested features was to have available the run new task everywhere. So whatever you're looking at in window in the task manager, uh, you have run new task available. Uh, and I understand why people ask for this because the run new task can often be very, very useful uh, to have, uh, including sometimes when the system is frozen. You have access to the task manager, but you have access to nothing else. You're able to use the run new tasks to actually run stuff that you might want to run, like system restore, for example. Um, so apart from that, uh, they, um, of course, have updated a few little things and what is the uh, Fluent design here and there and the different options and the settings and so on. And of course, more and more of uh, information of all sorts when you look at uh, uh, the Windows uh, system and the different settings, you have more and more different options about, uh, you know, uh, the uh, power management and, and, you know, making sure that uh, your PC is running up, you know, is optimized and so on. Um, so they, they add st stuff here and there. I even saw one of the options where you can actually trade in the PC from within Windows, which was kind of interesting. 
So probably it brings you to the web on some pages. So it's stable, works well. Uh, remember that there's the image available. Look at my video about that and the link to download 22579 ISO image if you need so. But uh, overall seems to be pretty stable and work pretty well. No crashes noted here, nothing special noted here. It seems to be uh, kind of working out. Uh, I could see here that uh, I had not tried yet the widgets. They take a long time to load in here, they are. So, uh, you know, this is, uh, this is still working and with the weather and everything. So uh, kind of interesting. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.